This is attorney Evan Livingstone. Today I'm going to talk to you about bankruptcy. You can call me if you need more information at 707-206-6570. Call me at 707-206-6570. Now, what is bankruptcy? Bankruptcy is a legal process through which the person filing for bankruptcy, who's called the debtor, uh, has two goals. One is the protection of your property and the second is the discharge of your debts. Now, the debtor receives protection of your property as soon as you file for bankruptcy. The moment a bankruptcy petition is filed in the federal court, a law called the automatic stay goes into effect to protect you from your creditors. The automatic stay protects debtors from most types of creditor actions against the debtor's property. For example, the automatic stay prevents a creditor from repossessing your car, foreclosing on your house, garnishing your wages, or levying your bank account. It also prevents creditors from calling or writing the debtor to demand payment. The second goal of most bankruptcies, besides protection of the debtor's property, is erasing or discharging the debtor's debts. Unlike the automatic stay, which happens as soon as the debtor files for bankruptcy, debtors do not receive a discharge of their debts when they file. The process of receiving a discharge happens at the end of the bankruptcy process. This process will take three months in a Chapter 7 bankruptcy and will take three to five years uh, in a Chapter 13 bankruptcy. Uh, not all debts are able to be discharged, but most are. Again, if you have questions, call Evan Livingstone at 707-206-6570. Can bankruptcy help me? Well, bankruptcy is a process where you get protection from your creditors, but not everybody needs to file bankruptcy. People who have no assets are judgment proof and don't need protection from the bankruptcy court. In general, a Chapter 7 liquidation bankruptcy is only useful for people who have assets of less than about $28,000 in California. The laws in your state may vary. But uh, in California, you can keep up to about $28,000 worth of stuff when you file bankruptcy, be that money, uh, cars, any other type of assets. If you own more than that, you may have to pay a portion of what you owe your creditors by making payments over three to five years in a Chapter 13 bankruptcy plan. You may have to file a Chapter 13 also if your monthly income is above average. And above average right now, that's about uh, $60,000 for a family of one. So that's pretty uh, lenient. And if you make less than that, uh, and your assets are less than 28000 you can file a Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Uh, let's talk about what kind of debts are dischargeable. Uh, in general, all debts are erased when a debtor receives his discharge, either at the end of three months in a Chapter 7 or at the end of three to five years in Chapter 13. However, there are some types of debts that are not dischargeable. Child support is not dischargeable. Student loans are not dischargeable. Uh, taxes which are uh, more recent than three years, like less than three years old, tax debt is not dischargeable. If it's older than that, we'll have to look at it carefully, but it may, de may be dischargeable. Uh, if you cause an injury to someone with while you're driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs, that's not a dischargeable debt. Also, if you obtain money by uh, fraud, that's not dischargeable. Uh, fraud is more than just saying, oh, I'm going to pay and then not repaying. That's just breaking a promise, any other breach of contract. That is dischargeable. But if you mislead people when they give you money, lend you money, that could be uh, fraud. So if you're unsure of whether your debt can be erased in a bankruptcy, call me, Evan Livingstone, at 707-206-6570.